It's time for a Halloween game, so let's try some Dead Island. You can loot all these, you know, sorts Maybe of packages and stuff. Useful. We gotta get out. So this came out in 2011, but it still looks pretty decent. Yes, it's got a little bit of the, you know, kind of claymation vibe that some of the 2010 games had, but it still looks really nice. And this is the definitive edition, which definitely helps it, you know, run well on modern hardware. We gotta go in the elevator. Down the chute. This may have been a bad idea. All right, let's let's mark this down as definitely a bad idea. Look at that, bad guys everywhere. Such a bad idea. Don't go in elevators. Use the stairs. Come on, everybody knows that. I can see it through the camera. You need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. All right, I need a weapon. Okay, end of the corridor. He says. We'll loot this while we're at it. Uh-oh. There's zombies. Alright. See, this door was not open before. They forced me the other way. Cheaters. Oh! Zombie went in with a right hook right off the bat. No teeth, nothing, just a right hook. Don't bash my head in, please. Not your head. Not your head. I'm trying, but I don't have control yet. You again. Oh, phew. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Well, then put the bat down. I'll take your bat. Sweet. Here, where'd that bat go? Hey! You know how close we came to bashing your head Where's your bat? <laughs> Give me your bat. <laughs> Alright. Those things came for us. Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. Where is Sinamoy? He went outside? Seems like a bad idea. Alright, I'll go get him. Help the lifeguard. Get rid of the undead. Yes, I am. I'm crazy. Of course not. I'm crazy. Oh, I've got fists. You don't even know. See, look. Look. I'll take you out. All right. Yeah, I've got a weapon now. You happy? All right. This is fucking crazy. One, three. One, two, fucking three. Oh, I got this. Oh, man. Punched again. These zombie punches are just brutal. All right. There we go. Stomp on him. Now that's a lifeguard you can trust. Look at his rugged jaw and his knife-throwing abilities. That's the last one. Okay then. Thanks, mates. <laughs> Act one. Dead Island. We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this. About thing. him? If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. That's what I get for choosing a lady character in a male dominated game. I saw him, it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation by air, by sea, but first you need to get here to me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hmm. Hello? We've got some sort of hacker Hello? that we gotta get to. He's into the computer oh, systems. Damn it. No thanks to you. Improving. I didn't see you 
All right, Cinemoy, I gotta check if you're a zombie. You for a while. All right, I think you're right. My name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you, and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? <laughs> they might be. You don't know how rough I, I am. Who you are, or how you know that guy on the radio? But he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask. But you will anyway. Can't do this without you. Of course. Will you help me? I'm the protagonist. I get this. All right, start now. Let's do this. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Do you want to tell me take where the pools are? Watch yourself. You may be immune, but I don't mean you can't die. Ocean View, bungalows, bars, pools, hotel. I just didn't even see that sign. So I completely went the wrong way. Alright, stomp him. Kick him while he's down, just for good measure. Alright. Lifeguard, pools, hotel. Well, he said he's by the pools, so let's go this way, huh? Eh, let's just leave him alone, huh? We don't need to fight all the guys, do we? Oh, he came anyway. Stop following me, you stalker. Gosh. I like to kick because then I don't ruin my weapon. My weapon only lasts so long, right? You know, it is amazing how good my kicks are. But it's also surprising that zombies attack with a punch, so, you know. Alright, you can see because I played a mission already and I traveled all the way around the island that I'm getting achievements for killing a bunch of zombies when I haven't played this very much yet. I did play this back in the day, like back in 2011 on the Xbox 360. But I've never played it here. Ooh, I, do I have another weapon? Uh, oh, did I level up? Sweet. Let's get Fury. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, I've got my feet, and my feet are pretty good, but I really could use a weapon. Oh, good. She's, she's chained down. That's the best way to do it. Kill this guy, make sure he's fully dead. Don't want anybody surprising me. Alright, I've got a weapon again. Ooh, and a rusty pipe. I've got two weapons. Look at me. How am I supposed to find Bungalow 11 when I don't have a good map yet? Oh, I guess my mini map's showing me something, huh? Well, let's go that way then. Oh, no! Quick time events! Alright. Let's follow the mini map. Up we go. Oh my god! Oh god. Oh god. My wife. My, my dad. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no reason. What the fuck do you want from me? Mm. I had no choice! I wouldn't mind if you scrubbed your chest a little bit, get some of that blood off. Well, Ted, I'm sorry, but I'm the executioner. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want that rusty pipe. I don't need that. Alright, here we go. We're to Bungalow 11. Uh-oh. No! I should have checked my corners. Critically hit with a foot stomp. That's how these stilettos roll. Alright. Let's get back to Cinemoy since I've got his ID. I've got what you asked for, Cinemoy. If I, I can figure away, out how to get back there. Can we kick her in the water? Come on, into the water. Yeah, take that. <laughs> As much as a zombie apocalypse would be terrifying, you gotta admit, it's kind of fun that you just get to, like, stamp on people and kill them. It's a, it's a little disturbing, but a little fun, too. It's also kind of nice that you have this whole island to yourself. You don't have to share the pool with anybody. Granted, there might be a little blood in the pool, maybe some entrails, but, you know, just a little bit. You can deal Beautiful. with that. For a moment, you can almost forget. See, she knows. It's like the same reason you go to Disneyland in like February, right? You don't want to deal with the crowds. Go to the resort right after the zombie apocalypse. Everybody gets cleared out. Everything's copacetic. 
All right, Cinemoy. You did it. All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make. That's right. Don't you forget it. Thanks to you. We need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Yeah, let's do it. Do that for me. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. Time to go through the beach. Whoa. How did that How did that happen? Did someone pick up this umbrella, stab this person, pin them to the ground? And then say, you know what? I'm going to pop the umbrella back open to give them some nice shade. I, I think that's what they're implying here. And that seems crazy. That's nuts. Oh, looks like there's somebody in there that needs saving. Don't worry, the protagonist is here. Take that. You. Fall down. Let me kill you. There we go. Oh, I got you, man. If you hadn't come along, but now that I have, come with me. I'm gathering any supplies I can find. Why would I want to come with you? You clearly have no survival skills. Uh, I'm not gonna tie my horse to your cart, man. You're uh, you're not as good as I am. So, you can just whoa! Don't push me. I have to get some rest. Here, sleep now. Oh. I would have died out there without you. Yeah, I know you would have. Sorry, I thought you might be alive. Turns out you were undead. Oh my god. What is that? Oh man. These guys are tough. Dang. Those dudes were buff. Kick him in the head. Not so buff now, are ya? Too many. Hey, one at a time, one at a time. Line up and I will kill you all as soon as I get some stamina. There. See? He knows how. Line up. Play nice. Uh oh. There we go. Slice him and dice him. Ooh, I can throw these at people. Who would like this in their face? Are you alive? No, but you are. Haha, <laughs> take that. Oh, I gotta throw this. There we go. Ha, <laughs> take that. There's something just very satisfying about throwing this at people. Hey, can I throw that up and over? No. Hack my way in. Get my get my little throwing tool back. Take that. Oh, you died. I didn't get to throw it at you again. Kapow! <laughs> Man, this this thing takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And I tripped that guy. <laughs> Ooh, those things are useful. All right, looks like I'm close to the lifeguard tower. How do I get in here? It's another keypad. No, he does not like having his meal interrupted. I just wanted to know if you needed a water top off. I'm trying to be a good waitress here. All right, he looks like a boss. Whoa, okay. So, I gotta throw stuff at him. Let's get one of these. Turn around. Yeah, come on out here. Let's see if this will work, huh? There we go. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Here, you, you die. We don't want to have to deal with you. Oh, back away. Get this guy again. And we'll chug it at you again. Ooh, that works so good. There we go. Knock you on your butt and stab you a little bit. Tch, easy. That boss didn't have anything. Complete pansy. Is he... where... how do I answer that? Oh, there we go. I have to hold this down. Ouch! Oh, you sneaking up behind me! Now you've done it. You've incurred my wrath! You've activated overkill. Cynic overkill mode. 
Okay, each of you die really quick so I can take care of the next people. We'll back up, get a little stamina, and kick her. Man, she, she did not have it in her. You know, you gotta want it, lady. You wanna kill a tourist. You gotta, you know, go full force. She can have this staggering around lackadaisically. Oh, I'll get around to it eventually. No, come on, get in there, kill. All right, from here I can survey the whole area. Look at that. It's a fancy place. Stop right there. Stay where you are. Hey, hey, easy there, friend. We're not infected. You're alive? I didn't think there was anyone living left out there. Come on, follow me. We will fight to the bloody end and do whatever it takes to execute our last order. Is that understood? Yes, sir! High command, Rubens. <laughs> it's a miracle we found this place at all. Major Dixon's talking to the troops. He's our commanding officer. We will do what is necessary to survive. We have enough weapons and ammo to kill everyone on this godforsaken island ten times over. We have enough food to last us for years. We are self-sufficient here, and we will fight together until we've drawn our last breath. Yes, sir! So what, what kind of arena are you talking about exactly? They're survivors, Major. We have four arenas full of starving infected who would tear us apart like rabid dogs if given half a chance. Each arena is set up to offer soldiers the ultimate test. The task is to kill all the infected before they can kill you. There's only one rule, survival. Yeah, I'm not sure I see the point of this. It's a test of courage, a rite of passage. We execute our last order and slaughter the infected, and those who fight best will be rewarded. Only the strong will survive. So this has been Dead Island Definitive Edition. If you're looking for a Halloween game, this one will do. So check it out because it's actually quite fun to play. It's gruesome. It's horrific. And even though it doesn't have the best graphics, you can imagine alias your way into realism if you have a good eye. But if you don't like this one, come on back because I've been playing different games all the time and I'm sure to find one that you'll like. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. I don't care what you do with it.